how did you find yourself in control of Pacific Rim? Because it's a rather bigger step up to your first director. It, it is. Uh, you know, it's a small little movie to start <laughs> out with. Uh, I had written a thriller, a psychological thriller called The Dead and the Dying, which was three people in a house. Uh, that was the entire movie, mm. and that was going to be my, my, my dip into uh, features uh, as a director. And uh, I had given it to Mary Parent, uh, the producer, and we set it up at a studio. Mm. And we were having trouble getting a green light and getting it going because uh, small movies just, studios aren't made for yeah. small movies like that. So she calls me up one day and says, eh, maybe this wasn't meant to be your directorial debut. And I thought, ah, my producer's pulling out. <laughs> there goes my movie, classic Hollywood story. And then she surprised me by following up with, what do you think about Pacific Rim 2 instead? <laughs> and I'm like, that's gigantic. And yes, yes, please. I'm a huge Guillermo del Toro mm. fan. I love giant monster movies. And uh, and that's how I became involved. And then how? What was the collaboration process with Del Toro? Because I know he was originally on to direct it. So was yes. there? Was he very hands on with it, or did he allow you to no. kind of conjure up this world? Well, the reason he didn't do this movie is is uh, scheduling conflict. Mm. He was going off to do his passion project, which was the Shape of Water. Yeah, that turned out turned out very yeah. well for him. <laughs> Good decision uh, for both of us. Um, so uh, uh, legendary, they had developed like. Three scripts over the years, uh, none of them were quite sitting right mm. with Legendary, so they wanted to to try again and take another stab at it. So I pitched Guillermo uh, my idea for the for the sequel, and he really liked it. He had a lot of great suggestions, and uh, uh, then he gave me the the best advice ever. He said, "Look, I'm going off to do my movie. Um, if you need anything, call me. Mm. I will help in any way I can." But I want you to make your Pacific Rim. I don't want you to make my Pacific Rim. Go off and make your mm -hmm. own movie, uh, which really gave me the license to to try different things and to take the spirit of what he did, but not feel like I had to imitate it. You was going to say it has this fantastic toy box quality to it. So where yes. the first one's very dark, you have this mm -hmm. brilliant hour of as if you're a child, kind of yeah. playing around with these toys and kind of going, let's see what we can do with it. And how was there an attempt at kind of making it feel like a live action? borderline animated anime film so it's the scope is so broad and it's it's more fun than the first one really yeah yeah i mean one of the things uh, we're all very much influenced by by anime mm. and i grew up watching ultraman was my favorite show as a kid so i really wanted to bring that kind of feel mm. to it and also um a lot of the action scenes in this one are during the day, yeah. where the first one was uh, at night in the rain or underwater. Guillermo did such a brilliant job with that. Uh, anything we would have tried like that would have just been a pale imitation. <laughs> mm. so, uh, so we wanted to go into the daylight so we didn't copy Guillermo and also to offer the audience something mm. new. But the two things when I came on, I sent Legendary up, like a five-page Steve Knight's manifesto <laughs> of Pacific Rim. Um, two of the most important things were I thought the movie should be two hours or under because mm. uh, I think a lot of movies like this start to get a little bloated. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah. Um, and, and it had to be fun. Mm. Uh, fun was the number one thing. Uh, and that doesn't mean that it couldn't be emotional or scary, but it just at the end of the day when the audience was leaving the theater, I wanted them to have a smile on their face and, and just having had a really good time at the movies. Fantastic, and you absolutely achieved that. Thank, Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, buddy.